Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. This is a video for people that have been struggling with Adobe Acrobat when it comes to the fill and sign tool and you want to create a certified copy or you basically want to save your file as a read-only copy. I've had this problem where I'm trying to do that and then basically what happens is the when saving the file, it gets stuck on 50% and it just stays there no matter what. So recently with Adobe support, we actually then found what the problem was and I want to share this now with you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to see if you can log in. You can just Google Adobe sign and then you go here to, I'll show you now, secureecosign.com. Then you need to log in with your Adobe ID and see if you can log in, if it actually proceeds forward. If you get an error there, let's just go here quickly. See, I'm already logged in now with my Adobe account. This is the same account email address that you're using in uh, Adobe Acrobat when signed in or with your Adobe Creative Cloud account. So... The point is, if you can't sign in here and it gives you an error, then you need to create a support ticket with support and tell them that there's a problem. Now, as soon as this problem is fixed, all you need to do is you sign out of your Adobe Acrobat app, you sign back in, and then all of a sudden, you no longer have that problem. So, I just want to show you. So this is just a test file. So I'm specifically talking about if you have to say save a certified copy. Obviously, you need to add a signature or paraphrase first. And then when you say save a certified copy, there we go. Normally, it gets stuck there where it is now. But you will see now it's working. And that's the prob that's the, the fix and that's what the problem was. It's because for some reason I think when you create an account or you start using Teams or whatever, if you can't log in at I just want to get that URL here again. So it is I'll put it up here in the video as well and in the comments. But Adobe sign. So yeah. That is the URL that you need to log into with your Adobe ID, the same ID that's used for your Adobe Acrobat app or your Creative Cloud account. So I hope this helps.